Ladies and gentlemen, do we have the video that you have been waiting for? Today we have my entire camera collection. Um, this has been a little bit in the making just because I've obviously have a lot of cameras and it took me a while to get everything in one place. But I'm excited to share this collection with you guys. Obviously I've been a photographer for probably six to seven years now and obviously this is something that has been accumulating over a long long time um, none of this happened overnight so today we're just going to break down exactly what camera gear i am using and yeah let's just jump into it okay so let's start off with the cameras that i use the most often and which are in my daily arsenal obviously that is going to be the sony a7r3 you guys know this has been my main camera over the past two years this is honestly great for everything it does photos great it does videos amazingly and i have no complaints about this camera i mean besides for the fact that obviously it doesn't have a flip out screen hopefully the sony a7s3 will be able to include that but the main lens that i primarily use on this is the sony 28 millimeter f2 now this is a great run and gun lens especially because it's a prime meaning that you're not going to be able to have the versatility of a zoom lens but the aperture is also pretty shallow meaning that you can do great portraits you can do great lifestyle shots so this is my main setup and honestly i have no complaints about this now the other lenses that I currently have for Sony are the Sony 55 millimeter Zeiss 1.8 now this is a beast of a lens everyone talks about how amazing Zeiss lenses are but you don't really realize it until you actually shoot with one and let me tell you guys that this is honestly my new favorite lens for portraits because it's so buttery smooth and the, just the metal durability and the quality of this glass is worth that price tag that I will definitely be investing in more Zeiss lenses in the future the other main lens I usually use is the Sony Sony 16-35G Master which is currently filming on the Sony a7 III. Now I will say some of this equipment is actually bought by Princeton University so that means that some of the stuff I'm showing isn't necessarily mine but it is what I use on the daily basis to do my content creation. My very first Sony camera that I ever got was the Sony a7S Series 1. Um, to be honest, this was a really great entry camera for me, especially because I was getting into film. So I got the Sony a7S with a Conlight adapter so I could put Canon glass on it because I was shooting primarily Canon before I switched over to Sony. I will say that the Sony a7S was good for what it does, but obviously there are a lot of limitations and there have been several upgrades to it. So this is very much just a backup cam. It's great for like B-roll or even C-roll. I'll put it on a slider and it gives me another angle and another Sony camera profile that I can match my colors well with. I think my last Sony camera I have is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. This is my daily vlogging camera, meaning that I'm using this whenever I can bring a big DSLR with me or my other Sony camera. So obviously it's got the flip out screen, which is really great for vlogging. The 120 frames works pretty well. and. I'm not the biggest fan of the picture profiles and the color grading that I'm able to get out of this, so I don't necessarily use this for my bigger cinematic projects, but it is very handy to have. Now, if you don't know, I started with photography before I got into videography, which is obviously why I invested in some Canon glass and Canon gear. Um, this is a Canon 6D Mark II. I upgraded to this from the Mark I version because this does have the flip out screen um, and this has been super helpful for getting different angles and helping me compose my shots correctly which unlike the sony has but obviously canon is amazing for portraits because their color science is honestly the best in the market no one can really beat that and that's probably been the primary reason why i haven't sold my canon gear yet because i know that i'm eventually going to get back into photography and having a second or just a main photography camera is really versatile compared to my sony cameras Moving on, this is the Canon 24 to 70 2.8 L series lens. Obviously, this is a beast of a lens, especially for just versatile photography because it has that zoom range of 24 to 70, which is a great focal length. Um, if I had to pick one lens to shoot with for the rest of my life, it would probably be this lens just because I'm able to get the most dynamics out of it. Um, I forgot to mention that the lens on this camera right now is the Sigma 35 1.4 Art Series. And if I had two lenses to shoot for the rest of my life, this will be my second lens because honestly, a 35 millimeter is amazing for any type of portrait length or just regular photography. And the 1.4 Art Series is beautiful, bokeh, buttery, smooth. So that kind of covers all of my main camera gear. This is what I use to shoot all my main content creation for photos and videos. Obviously there's still a lot more here and which I will go through. Lately I've been getting more into film photography. So this is my Canon AE-1 film camera. 
you know, I bought this off eBay a few years ago and being able to shoot film just allows me a lot more control over all my settings and not being able to see your final product until you develop the entire rule of film it just gives you more intention with your shots and you realize that every shot actually matters so you put a lot more thought into it. So I enjoy shooting film but I didn't enjoy the process of going through all the settings of setting it up which is why I got this Olympus Mew 2 and this one is really great for a point and shoot film camera because it has a built-in flash which the Canon A1 doesn't. So, so all those like retro film photos that you see with the flash are taken on this and it just gives it a lot more of a vintage feel obviously because it's film but it's also compact enough that I can literally carry this anywhere with me especially when I go out with my friends. I don't worry about bringing any of these cameras because I know that this will do the do job. Um, let's see what else I have here. This is the Instax Wide 300. It's made by Fujifilm. Unfortunately, it's actually broken right now, but when it did work, it was shooting all of my Polaroids and it gives you that wide format compared to the mini Polaroid version. So I really enjoyed this while it lasted. I might invest in a new one, but I highly recommend everyone having a Polaroid camera. Now this camera right here holds a lot of value in my heart because it is the very first camera I ever bought. This is the Fujifilm X10 and I've told the story before but I actually won a photography competition taking a photo with my phone and with that money I was able to buy my first camera which is this bad boy and you know the looks of this are amazing. It looks like one of those vintage cameras but the feel and the ergonomics of this was a great entry level camera for me. I shot with this thing for so many years and the fact that I still have it is just you know big sentiment to, to photography and, and where I was able to start with it. You know I love this camera. Fujifilm makes some really great cameras and eventually I'm considering upgrading to even the X100 which is a little bit more advanced series of this but this has been my baby I will probably never get rid of this just because it holds a lot of sentiment to my heart um, obviously I have the GoPro which is super grateful for any types of underwater shots or anytime I'm not going to be able to you know beat up a camera this is the GoPro Hero 3 Silver I literally bought this like five years ago when I was first getting into film and having a GoPro really just takes your filming to the next level I actually upgraded to Hero Session but my brother's borrowing it so I don't have that right now Okay, a little bit of miscellaneous accessories. Obviously, I have a gimbal. Gimbals are kind of a necessity when it comes to filmmaking nowadays because everyone wants stable footage and it's hard to do that handheld. So having a gimbal really allows you to take your filmmaking to the next level. This is the Ziyun Weeble Lab 3. They sent it over for me to test and honestly, it's been my new favorite gimbal. I've also shot with the Moza Air and the I Can Beholder DS1, but this is just so compact and reliable for most of my run and gun setups that I don't really worry about bringing a bit bigger gimbal with me. For audio, I have the Rode Video Micro Plus. Um, I bought this thing probably two years ago because I needed better audio. The mic I use currently on my camera is the Rode Video Mic Plus, which is a little bit bigger, but this is really great for vlogging and anytime I don't want to bring a big setup with me. Obviously camera straps, this is the Peak Design light strap which is the smaller version of the peak design strap which i also actually have but um the really cool thing about peak design is that they have those clips where you can attach your cameras with the anchors that they come with and so i have anchors on just about all my cameras so i'm able to really just clip and go for any of my cameras another great peak design investment that i made are the plate and the um, capture clip the capture clip will go on to your camera backpack so that you can just slip your camera in and out just by releasing this lever and having one of these was really helpful for me to just grab my camera and I don't have to worry about setting anything up. Um, I think the last miscellaneous things are a, li a little mini tripod. I don't really use that. And then this is the new Rhino Shield lens that can attach to your phone. I've made a review video about this before, but I've recently been playing around with this a little bit more just to give me more versatility with my photography. And I'm a huge fan of this one. Okay, now the last thing to cover are probably the camera bags because everyone knows that finding a perfect camera bag is kind of crucial and I still haven't found it. I'm on the quest for finding one, but this right here has been kind of my main one for the past few weeks and this is the Brevity Rucksack. The reason I love this thing is that it acts as a great everyday backpack so I can carry my school equipment but also my camera equipment in this little camera compartment right here so I can just fit my lenses, fit my cameras in there and it is good to go. If I'm traveling or have a little bit more of heavy duty equipment that I need to be bringing, this is the in-case backpack. I don't know the exact model. 
Once again, the great thing about this is that it just has so many pockets so I can really fill this camera up with multiple camera bodies, multiple lenses, and I'm always good to go. The last camera backpack I have is the Peak Design Everyday 20 liter backpack. You guys know that this was my main driver for the past like two to three years and I loved everything about it. It just wasn't very big enough, which is why I upgraded to the in case. But for my running gun photography and any time I'm trialing, I will probably be bringing this just because it's so compact and it has so many pockets. So moving on to a little bit of accessories, things that I carry for my shoots. Obviously ND filters are in this pocket right here and having it in this like foldable um, travel case is very convenient so I can slip on ND filters, CPLs or whatever. Um, there was a few more things I needed to show. Um, okay, now these are my final miscellaneous accessories and things that I bring with me every time and are in every single one of my camera bags. I can't emphasize this enough. Having one of these things is so essential for any photographer and anyone who wears glasses because it serves as a two-in-one. It's a lens wipe, but it's also a glasses cleaner. And it really just helps you clean your glass and make sure that there's no dust or any scratches and it just keeps your lens looking great. This right here is the SD card case. So anytime I'm traveling, I will always carry this with me. So I have backups of SD cards and I know which ones are full and I know which ones are formatted. Not having enough storage on a shoot is the worst thing ever. So please make sure that you have enough SD cards. Literally every time I buy a camera, I will probably buy an SD card with it. This is just my carrying case for my dongles and my SSD. So this right here is the Samsung T5 portable SSD, 500 gigabytes. And this has been my main driver for all my video editing because number one, it is so fast. It's literally the fastest hard drive I've ever worked with and the transfer speeds are kind of ridiculous. So I'm always transferring photos and editing off of this. And once this gets full, I will transfer it over to my main hard drive. Now, obviously, since I have the new MacBook Pro, I'm dealing with dongles and this is what I use to edit off my SD cards and I can plug in my USB and micro SD cards and HDMI ports. So this is super essential for anyone editing off a of MacBook Pro. Wow, I really keep forgetting all the gear that I have. Um, number one is obviously a portable charger. Anytime I'm traveling, I always like to bring this with me because I know my cameras or my phones are going to run out of battery. So having a portable charger is super essential. Another great travel accessory that I've recently picked up has been from Satechi, and it actually allows you to plug in two USB-C and two USB 3.0 ports. And this is super helpful for me anytime that I need to be charging my cameras or my laptop. Um, highly recommend picking one of these up. This right here is the blue microphone, which I use to record any of my voiceovers or any time that I need to do a podcast or an interview or something, I will use this bad boy. Finally are my Beats Studio headphones. These are something I picked up in high school and obviously just allow me to listen to my edits better and anytime I want to listen to music, um, I will probably pair it with these. Finally, obviously, you got these AirPods. You guys know I love them. The AirPods Wireless 2 with the char charging case and my iPhone XS Max. And yeah, guys, that about wraps it up for my entire camera collection and accessories and gear and anything I use to create content. I know that it was a lot to cover. And honestly, like this took me years to accumulate all this equipment. Don't think that it happens out of nowhere. It will take you a lot of time and a lot of money and investments to be made in your career and into your craft. So obviously, take that into consideration and I hope that you were able to get something out of this. Make sure to hit this video with a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below anything else you guys want to see. Subscribe for more videos and as always, don't stress. Finesse. Shit, now I gotta clean all this up.